Hello guys, thank you for coming back. Uh, we've done so many things so far. Yeah, first we made a register function and after register we also need to do login with the accountants with register. So we made a login routing and then after logging in we need to get uh, authenticated by website. So we also made the us routing. So after doing everything we need to do in that website, we actually need to log out from that website. So now, so now we want to make log out routing. So to log out routing, we need to think about what we actually need to do. Uh, in the last video, I have let you see what the token in the cookies does. So we will use that token again to log out. So I'm gonna let you see first again so first go to website and then we're going to log in and then if we see the inspect and application and here we can see our cookie in uh, stored in here so if we delete this one and then now, now we are logged in, in here you can see that and then if we go any other page it automatically we are kicked out of the website so we need to log in again this is actually logging out so to make the log out function we can just remove the token from the cookies we are going to use this way to make our log out function so first we go back to our editor and in here yeah we're gonna start to in here we're gonna start to make a logo function it'll be really easy easier than any other like login or authentication we have done so far so first we will do add and get request because we are not gonna put any data so first the location api and users and log out and then we need to do request and response and arrow function and in here we need to find the specific logged in users id to let that account kicked out of that website so we will bring the user database and we will just find one account and then we need to update so first we will find that user with id so id and request user id and then the second one we need to write here is the what we are going to update so we have token and we're gonna make it empty so we can let it load out automatically and then we will get the callback function error user information and here if if it was not successful we will get error so return response and json we will send this to client success force and error message and if we were successful so we will also response status 200 and we will send success true now we are already done with making logout function, logout routing. Now we are gonna make sure whether this works really well or not. So first we will use the postman again. So to turn on the postman. First we can log in here. Uh, this is the ID we have in our database. 
so we can log in by clicking send offers i'm sorry i keep making the terminal npm run start to boot up our server oh, uh, i'm sorry i did it and then our server is up now so we can go to postman again and then we will click this oh, now we are logged in and now we need to do logout so open this one and paste it and we're going to change this into and so now i'm going to click the send button to logout so here I kept getting the problem, so I just paused the video and then I found the solution. Yeah, I made uh, some problem in here, uh, in here. Uh, when actually doing this one, like we first needed to be uh, authenticated, logged in user to do log out. So in here, uh, we need to put the one we made in the last video this us this one we also need to put this us and the problem was the, we wanted to uh, get this user id but this user id comes from the us so if we go to us here yeah we can get the user information and then we put the user information in request so that's why we can get this request user id but because i didn't write the async here that's why i couldn't get this user id so that's why we uh, made a problem so i just do it this one and i'm just gonna kill the server and then if I don't want to just uh, keep killing and booting up the server again, I can just uh, use the Nodemon we downloaded before. So to do that, I'm gonna do npm run backend instead of npm run start. So if I see in here that we are using Nodemon for the backend, so we are gonna type npm run backend and type it so now we go to postman to make sure whether it's gonna work really well now so now we can just uh, click this one yeah now it's successful and if we go to mongodb so like I i'm gonna see uh first uh, now now because of we did the logout so there is no token in here but i'm gonna let you see uh after we do login uh, login if we do login and then if we see our token again we have our token generated and if we do log out again and success and then if we go back in here and re refresh the page yeah we made our token removed now so thank you for watching this video maybe from next video uh, I think we are going to make our client finally so it would be much more fun because we can actually see what is really going on so thank you for watching this video and see you later